G'day. He's all going. This little fella. Sorry, if you just don't know me, it's Thirsty Rabbit. Uh, today I come home from work. And this little fella found a weak spot in my fence. There was one little gap down here where that silver grate is now. It's overlapping a black grate. But uh, there was a little little gap there. And he dug his way out. Can't see. And he was out. And I thought, ah, oh, well, that's the end of that. I thought I'd have a quick look around the yard. He wasn't over by the camp, by the story time fireplace. He wasn't over here. He wasn't on the tramp. I thought he would have been jumping around. He wasn't having a barbie. He was a vegetarian. Uh, he didn't pull me washing down. I found him. Two houses down. Out the front. Or three, four houses down. Um, it's getting cold. <laughs> um, I thought I'd go out and have a look at the front. I thought it'd be having no chance. And um, went out there. Sure enough, nothing. Looked up that way. Nothing. But then, beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Out he come. Couldn't believe it. So I went for a walk. He bounced off. Bounced back a bit. And I was like, Pebbles, Pebbles, come on, Pebbles. And then once he recognised it was me, he comes straight to me. I picked him up and brought him home. Filled up that grate. So, yeah, I'll show you that grate tomorrow. Um, in the sunlight. But he should be in. And this morning when I woke up, he was sleeping in front of Hunter's window. Um... And he's got a blanket and everything in there. But I guess he's a rabbit. I thought that's why they dug holes, so they kept warm. But anyway. Um, he's got a hole up there. If he wants to get in, he'll work it out. And again, he's fully fully in this time, we hope. I might even do another layer back of grates. I might even go do that now. Double up that layer, so give it, give it a good two metres. And I'll go double up the other end as well. And I'll show you all tomorrow. I'll show you both ends and everything, guys. Even though it's a fish channel, it's a thirsty rabbit channel, man. And it's thanks to you, and that's that's a big, big tank there. Mother Nature at its best. All right. Um, yeah, so that's it, guys. Go past the corroboree fire. I wish it was on. Anyway. Peace.